The Other Side is brought to you by Truman Insurance. Community driven, always honest, always reliable, always there. This is The Other Side. Today we're looking at the Edmonton Eskimos and you play back-to-back -back games with them. You played them once a few weeks ago, so you got a taste of what they can do. Uh, your thoughts on these back-to-back -back games? Well, Labor Day is kind of for us when the season really gets going. I mean, you can always be set up really well, be ahead of the game, or you can be behind the eight ball a little bit. We're kind of in the middle, uh, which is honestly, I thought we'd kind of be there. Uh, I'm liking what our team's doing, but I do think we're, we're kind of where we're, we should be. Uh, now it's, can we generate some momentum and get going? Always love getting the first game at home. Always, uh, in my opinion, you know, usually you have some jets or something special for this game. It's an afternoon game, which I, I literally love. I love afternoon games. We get a big crowd. Edmonton is right there, is the best in the league. Uh, we were able to beat them last time, but it was anyone's game. In fact, they threw into the end zone to beat us on the last play, couldn't come up with it. Um, you know, for us, we play them three times. We need to win two of the three to, to uh, you know, take the season series. That would also put us a, a little bit closer where we want to be in the ultimate uh, uh, standing. So, uh, big game, fun game. Uh, yeah. Can't wait to, to get that opportunity. Ellingston and Harris, the Ottawa connection. Boy, in the last game I watched them, they were on fire. That's a nice combination they've got. They do, and I mean, Greg didn't play the last time against us. Right. He's, he's one of the best. I mean, he really is. He's big. People don't realize if you actually saw him in person how big he is. He's fast. Uh, doesn't always look it, um, but he, he can really stretch you. And uh, I think they have a chemistry and they have this thing where they know where each other's at. I mean, it was, it was clockwork the last time they played. It was, it was pretty impressive. Not the only guy, obviously, they have. They have a good running big game as well. Um, they are clicking. We did a nice job shutting them down in, a, in the first half. They did find a little something on us in the second half, so we know it'll be a big challenge, something that we need to uh, uh, look forward to, but also we got to make sure we're at the top of our game. The D-line, um, late in the game, it looked a little tired to me. That's yeah, just me. Yeah. Is, am, was I, is that a fair assessment? Well, if you're thinking back in Montreal, yeah, I thought our D-line had uh, a tough game. I mean, I didn't feel like we really generated a lot of pressure, obviously a lot of penalties. Um, they just couldn't quite find their groove, and that then you could see it played into our secondary, who also didn't have their best game, but they're, they're connected. Yeah. When the D-line's D going, secondary's going to look good. When they're not, secondary now is getting exposed a little bit. And probably the thing that cost us the most was our tackling. You know, I, I was a little bit over the line saying it's the worst I'd seen all, in, a, in all year, uh, but I, I kind of think it was the truth. Uh, we just didn't wrap up. You know, you can hit guys with your shoulder, but ultimately you're, they're not going down. They're big, strong men. You got to wrap up yep. and you got to bring them to the ground, and, and we just didn't do that. Where'd you beat the Eskimos? I mean, you saw it was like two games the last time you guys played. You were off to a great start, they caught up and played better. Yeah, in the I mean, second half. I think it's the, the line of scrimmage battle. I, like that's a, the point most of the time. But uh, they have a great defensive line, as good as anybody in the league. They, right. they provide as much pressure as anybody. We did a pretty good job keeping our quarterback upright. Flip side of that, their offensive line is like maulers. Like they, they do, they grab hold and they just basically wrestle you. Uh, they get a lot of calls that way. But they also, they're massive. And if you, you let them lean on you and move you and all of a sudden their run game gets going, it's going to be a long day. And we didn't do that. We, did, we had a great game against their, their offensive line last time. So that's where you're going to find the, the, the balance, checks and balance system, who's going to uh, be able to have an advantage in either one of those. And ultimately that usually determines a lot of games, but no doubt it will determine the result of this game. I'm not trying to put a jinx on you, but Harris has not had good luck against the Stampeders. So is it pressuring him? Is that what it is? Keep him off rhythm? I just, yeah, I think off rhythm is a good comment. I think that you can't just do the same thing over and over and over. And I think, obviously, any quarterback's getting hit is going to have a, a tougher time. But I think you just can't give him a steady look. You can't yep. let him get into a groove. You can't let him complete six, seven, ten in a row. He's had games where he's 20 in a row. Uh, You've got to get him out of his rhythm, give him different looks, get him clutching the ball a little bit, uh, go into his second or third read, and then keeping him in long yardage situations. So all that's tough, but that's what we've got to do. Dave Dickinson, this is Third and Long.